Ghost leader to yellow leader. Bandits inbound. Acknowledge, ghost leader. Three bogeys on my scopes heading 192. Let's take them out. Roger. In a time when man had conquered space, the most devastating conflict history was happening on our mother planet, the Earth. After decades of peace, the Occident had been overcome by the forces of a totalitarian state. All the major cities were under the martial law, and the rest of the world was only desolation. Only a few number of courageous nations had gathered to fight against tyranny. No one knows how the fight started, but this handful of fighters was the humanity's only hope. This is ground control. Ghost leader, report in. Ghost leader standing by. Ghost leader, good to have you on board. Welcome to this training session. Okay, let's start with the basics of your YV-21 fighter. This visual indicator shows you your next target. It activates when you're getting too far away and may lose visual contact. It disappears at close range. We will use it throughout this exercise to show you the next training area. Okay, Ghost Leader. We know that you've obtained clearance on the F-6E fighter at the Academy. Now let's see what you can do with the YV-21 fighter. To demonstrate your piloting skills, fly through the circles. Follow the objective indicator to the next area. Piloting skills are not over-evaluated, but this is only the beginning. You are currently flying at normal speed. Hold down the full throttle button to fly at top speed. The brake button allows you to slow down. Hold down the brake button to fly at low speed. Now that you know how to fly at high speed, let's try another course but this time with a time limit.
Very good. Now let's move on to target practice. Ground targets are usually indicated by this visual mark. Your head-up display keeps track of the number of ground targets destroyed during your mission. Now use your gun to destroy all these targets. Press the fire button to fire with your gun. You can also use missiles to destroy these targets. Wait until the target is locked, then fire a missile by pressing the missile button. Make note that no more than eight missiles can be fired simultaneously. Your head-up display always indicates the number of remaining missiles and shells. If you're out of ammunition, you cannot fire with this weapon until you have reloaded. You can press the reload button at any time to reload both your gun and your missiles. Use the reload button wisely to avoid running out of ammunition when you're in a good position to take an enemy out. Okay, now you know how to use your basic weapons to destroy ground targets. Now let's start the real deal. Most of the time, you'll be sent out on a mission with a whole squadron. Always keep an eye on your wingmen. Their status is displayed on your head-up display. If you lose all your wingmen, the mission is failed. These blue marks indicate your wingmen. Enemy fighters are indicated by this mark. Now, use your weapons to shoot down this enemy. Nice shot, Ghost Leader. Your head-up display keeps track of the number of air targets destroyed during the mission. As you notice, each time you shoot down an enemy aircraft, you get an extra amount of shield energy. Well, most enemy fighters aren't just gonna retreat. They're gonna try to shoot you down. When your aircraft is locked by an enemy missile, you cannot avoid it by accelerating or with evasive maneuvers. The only way to get rid of an enemy missile on your tail is to accomplish a quick barrel by pressing the dodge button. Be careful, you have to wait until the very last moment and only press the dodge button when the missile accelerates towards you. You will see the missile's flame change when this happens. Now engage these two enemy aircraft and pay attention to their missiles. Remember, press
press the dodge button only when the missile is accelerating. 